Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Mosfus. This is Mosfus Games. We're back with Abzu. I'm probably saying that wrong every single time. So last time, Shiznit got real and we're broken. So I'm fairly certain our race has to be... Wow, we're very glowy. Like, I think we're we're mechanized. I don't think we're hu we're humanoid, but I don't think we're human. If that makes sense. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I believe I came from that way. What is up here? Oh yeah, this was a weird... All hail the fish people. Alrighty. But yeah, um, our shark friend is dead, who I believe is probably the protector of the ocean, in a way. At least that's how I view him. Her, it, as the protector of the ocean. <laughs> And I believe by maybe, cause it looks as though we were worshiping the weird triangle freaks. So magical conscious. Mm. Well, it looks like we were worshiping the, the triangles of, for some odd reason that's what we were doing we were worshiping them or they were all powerful or something because here we are with water and then oh my god there's you can hear the frogs it sounds pretty much like my neighborhood because we have nature preserves and lots of frogs and toads This is a new experience, ain't it? <laughs> but we look so humanoid. Alrighty. Guess we have to go this way. I don't actually know. Are we gonna walk? <gasps> oh my goodness! Oh my god, there's frogs! Look at the froggies! Oh my god, look at the froggies! Oh my gosh! Look at the little frogs! Oh my- oh, there's a lizard? There's like a skeet? Whoa, this is completely different. What is this? So we were originally, I guess, a people of the land until we maybe became a part of the sea? Or saw power? I don't even know. Just look at all the frogs! <laughs> There's so many frogs. I love frogs. <laughs> look at that cute frog eyes. I die happy hop I die happy and I hop with the hip. Hip hop. And they don't stop to the bang bang boot. I'm done. I'm gonna get copyright infringement on this thing. Well, this is a big freaking door. I'm really bad at stories, apparently. I don't think I've grasped this story properly of what we did or what's happening. All I know is triangle things are bad. That's all I know. But this... With the music... And just... Here we go! Geronimo! <laughs> What's over here? Oh, it's a waterfall! We can get pushed by it? We can't even go in it. Down, Periscope. Down. Dive, dive, dive. Oh, just this game. Why are you so pretty? Oh, we're back in the temples. Yeah, weren't we here earlier? Oh, wow. There's a lot. Okay. Let's divide and conquer. Let's go back to this area. 
if I completely forget about it. We don't see any magical kunches, magical nautilus shells. No, I don't see any at least down there. Let's dive. All right. And I'm fairly certain we're getting close to the end of the journey. Just because, I mean, you were, there's a freaking map that tells me what's coming up, which is nice and cool. Uh, but I guess most people probably wouldn't realize that unless you've played Journey before. Because I believe Journey had a similar... I feel like Journey had more cutscenes of a story. It definitely did, because you would stop and like learn about your ancestors. Okay, so I gotta get in there somehow. <clears throat> While this game is a bit more... You figure it out, kind of, as you go. Fishies! Just, oh, I'm so happy where I took a break from creepy, scary stuff, because this is, I need to just recharge. <laughs> I really just need to recharge and have a fun, chill, not, you know, super stressful type of game or one that has, you know, obnoxious puzzles where I feel like a moron because I don't know where I'm going. I can just, I can be me in this game. I can roam to my heart's content and never be wrong. <laughs> Pretty much that. I'm never wrong, suckas. I am always right in this game. As long as you keep moving forward, you are always right in this game. What do we got? <clears throat> Anomala. What? Yeah, those weren't weird at all. Ooh, I see a shark. I also couldn't even say its name. Anomacularis. Just look at the plants. I thought I saw a shark over here. I mean, not the shark, because we, you know, killed the shark. What is that? Wait a sec. Is that Leoplerdon? Where are you? Come here. What are you? What is that thing? Where'd the Leoplerdon go? They're like baby Leoplerdons. Come here. Come here. What are you? What are you? What are you? You're like baby Leo Pluridons. Give me. Dolly Carin Jumps. That's a big sharky right there. Oh, I have to sneeze. <laughs> oh, my headset. Well, it took me- I should have been looking around. It took me to the shark that I wanted to go see. Come here, shark. Hey, buddy. You are Helicoprion? Whatever the frick that is. Don't need the weird Leopleridon. Okay. So, we're getting into, like, prehistoric waters, I think. Because these creatures don't- exist in our current world or at least not their originals the ancestors might exist or the yeah the you know <laughs> these look like ancestors of, of a species because we don't have those anymore most of these things we don't have anymore let me I really just shook my headset loose when I sneezed. I got those powerful sneezes going, man. I was outside, that's why. Freaking allergies! Though my skin is nice and sun-kissed and glowing. Somehow I've avoided horrific sunburns so far this summer. I got a little toasted on my shoulders one time because I forgot to put them on my shoulder blades. I forgot to put uh, sunscreen when I went out and did landscaping and weeding and etc. for my neighbors, but otherwise. 
<laughs> this is the boringest conversation I've ever had. Glaze, here's what I do with my life. At least for the summer, that's what I'm doing with my life. Hopefully I'll get an office job once summer's over. <clears throat> my quote-unquote other bill-paying job. Because I got student loans and bills. Because this is just how I stay sane. Okay, let's scoot up here and go whoop. Hey, Mr. Shark, you guys gonna eat something? Oh, I guess I should look, right? I shouldn't just be staring and in awe of this game. I should be looking around for stuff, right? You might see a glowy shell anywhere. Anyone? Anywhere? No, you don't. I don't either. Ha. Huh. <laughs> so we have a uh, Tiktaalik? And another food chain. I got the food chain achievement. Oh, because I think I watched a Tiktaalik eat something. Akinads, the, the fishies of the sea. Tiktaalik. Tiktaalik. I'm really sick of these Tiktaaliks. We got another. Ammonite. Oh, those are they're not Nautilus shells, they're ammonites. I. Oh, my lord. Food chain. Anomal. Anomalocar. I can't read, apparently. <laughs> <coughs> Oh, the copper in. And then. I don't want you guys. Okay, well, that's that. <laughs> I didn't know that was how you got an achievement. I guess you can watch stuff in meditation mode, but you, you have to, like, actually go to it and watch him eat something. I think that's what the food chain one is. Alrighty. That was fun and enjoyable. I just hear things crunching in my ear. It's quite funny. I know I have to go up to that place, whatever it is. This is just, this is a very fun area and a very adventure-y and just talking out my arse, truthfully. Actually, I should get all these fish around the ocean floor. What the fuck, T-Rex skull? Um, okay, yeah, we are definitely hitting prehistoric time zones. Helicopterions. <clears throat> yeah, that's a- that looks like a T-Rex skull. Or a form of T-Rex. That's definitely dinosaur. Definitely a dino. Don't- don't know how else to tell you, but that's definitely a dinosaur. <laughs> Don't know what else to tell you, people. Definitely a dinosaur, though. Okay, we're gonna use this, and then I'll search the floor, because I know there's another little... There's one or two of these things that I miss. Of the motion releasing thingies. So we got one to work. You have to get into the other one now. Oh, my face is itchy. <clears throat> Sorry, I didn't turn away when I sniffled. Mabby! Mabby, Mabby, Mabby. Mabby, 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 Mabby. Hey, guys. Surprised nothing attacks me. Because I don't know if we're really friend or foe, but we can talk with them, which is cool. So we can talk with the fish. Which I guess to explain why, like, the sharks don't attack me? I guess? I explain why most of these things don't attack me? So we must be friendly with them. And... I don't- I just- I don't think I understand the story fully. I think I'm- I've overlooked something or I'm missing something. Cause I think we are people of, like, the land and sea? We, like... We're very human-esque.
Am I lost? Someone tell me, am I lost? This is where the other one goes, I think. Alrighty. Now I feel a bit lost on what I'm supposed to be doing. Any more fish to release? Doesn't look like it. Yep, weird ammonite in my face. But how do I get in this? Because the gate's not open. Oh! I have to walk it. I'm a moron, I think. Am I an idiot? I have to go where the people are. <laughs> this is very much a Little Mermaid-esque whatever nonsense. Fills up with water, and then the gate will open. And now we can get it. Alrighty. I guess that works. What is this? We're definitely in a weird prehistoric area. <laughs> oh wait, I can wait, I can walk up more stuff? Holy shiz, hold up. We're gonna hold up. Hold your gosh darn horsies on. We can we can walk up here? What is going on? What is this? Oh, there's a well there's one. <clears throat> there's one of them. Um okay. Let's dive! Whee! Foosh. What if I can go up here? I don't even... This is a whole new mechanic! I can walk! This is like completely different. Yeah, I don't know what's... Huh. This must have been one of our temples, it looks like. But... I feel like we worshipped the sea. We worshipped the, like, the nautilus things in the, in the sea. I don't know why we would have hurt them. So I don't, I don't think we, we did this on purpose. I don't... I don't know, but we're made of... I don't know. I don't know what happened here. Because, I mean, we built statues to the creatures. I don't understand. I don't understand. <laughs> what else is new? When have I ever understood a game? Never. Never. I've never understood a game fully. Ever. You zoomed in over there. Why would why did we go over there? What was over here? Nothing? Like the camera panned, man, it panned over here. all the fish. I don't think there are any more. Oh, I don't think so. Let's go up through the doorway. Through these massive freaking doors. I feel as though I'm gonna have to look up what this story was about by the end of this. Because <laughs> I don't know if we're good or bad or 
if we're even human or if these are our people or maybe we went nuts maybe you know it's it's the story of you know society uses the land equivalently and then they get a bit power hungry and she's <gasps> turtle oh my god archelon look at this thing it's like the turtle of the world where it carries you know the the earth on its back what are you? Are you in, uh, oh, what is it? The things that. Yeah, an Arapaima. Dude, those things are nasty, son of a gun. Those things will break your freaking sternum if they launch. I think they launch with enough force that they will break you. Um, what was it? The. Not even, it's not Deadliest Catch. It's another th thing on Discovery Channel where they literally have Arapaima jumping out of the water and you can capture them and oh man you can s get seriously injured by the arapaima I mean, they can launch out at you and just kill you for lack of a better word they can kill you they got one nasty freaking head alrighty well I guess we gotta keep on going back in time with fish Oh, I'm not controlling this. Oh, now I am. Where are you guys? Oh! Oh! Oh, now we're up above? I don't like having legs. Or this camera angle. I don't like this camera angle or legs. I prefer swimming, please. <laughs> Game, why? So why? Why? I wonder why there's the option of having legs. Whoa. 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 No, no, no. Back up a sec. Hold up. Whoa. Okay, the camera's fighting with me, but look at this shiz. Holy. There's a rainbow. All right, let's go. Another one of these guys. Ithiosaurus. Okay. You look like the weird... Uh, there's a type of dolphin? Or... That has the slender nose. I think they're technically river dolphins, usually. <gasps> Look at the octopi! Look at them! Okay, what are these? Boop! Dunkleosteus. They're like a coelacanth, but bigger! Give me! Give me your booty! Oh, my lordy! I've seen these things in books. Oh, these are the... So these are the... Remember in the, the temple? These are the one thing that I didn't know what they were. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're, we have like the Moray eels, and we had the Dunkleos, whatever, that I didn't know what they were, but I remember them, and they reminded me of coelacanths, but they're different. Ah, breach! That was fun. Okay, camera, work with me. <laughs> work with me, camera, work with me. Work it, camera, work it. Okay, let's go meditate for a moment by the, the shark heads, apparently, because actually, let's do this first. Let's pop open a hydrant. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, there's a Loch Ness Monster! <gasps> oh my goodness! Oh, give me! Oh, give me! Give me control! Give me control! Give me the Loch Ness Monster! 
screw meditation. Fuck that shit. Where'd she go? Where's Nessie? Nessie! Nessie! Oh, oh, come here, please. Let me run. <gasps> oh my god. Okay. Elasmosaur! Hey, listen. If... If I love orcas and manta rays as much as I love, you know, sea creatures... Nessie! The Lactus Monster is one of my favorite prehistoric creatures next to Triceratops. Oh my fudging lord. Can I control it? Can we go up? Nessie, can we go up, please? Up! Uh, periscope! Up! Uh, up! Uh, uh. Oh my god, there's two of them. There's two of them! <gasps> oh my goodness, there's two of them! <laughs> oh my god. Please let me be able to spawn more of these. Oh please, oh please, oh please. Y'all are freaking me out, you weird fish things. Dacosaurus. What the fudge is a daco? Was he? Who's he? What's it? And now, who's he? Who's us? Give me the dacosaur. No, I don't want you. I want the dacosaur. Where'd the dacosaur go? Dacosaur. Where are they? I lost them. I think they're up. I think I just saw them. Wait, are you a dacosaur? No, you're not. I think I lost them. Where'd they go? Are you a dacosaur? You are a dacosaur. Hey, fishy. You guys, it got prehistoric. <laughs> God, I just these creators with I I just the thought process behind this in the areas. I was like, oh cool, we're just going through, you know, whatever. And it was probably set to um, different areas of the world. Like ocean types. Because you have manta rays obviously exist in warmer climates and saltwater orcas are going to exist in colder climates. And then, like, this is just... Like, okay, what do we do now? We got these four realms or whatever, these three or whatever realms. What do we do now? How do we make this even cooler? Dinosaurs! Because every child loves dinosaurs. Everyone loves dinosaurs. If you hate dinosaurs, leave right now. You can't hate dinosaurs. You, you can't... You can't... There is no freaking way you can hate dinosaurs. There's at least one dinosaur you will like. That looks important. Alrighty. So yeah, you can't, you can't hate dinosaurs. If you do, I don't think we can be friends, guys. It's, um, that's kind of a deal breaker in my book. Like, I can accept you don't like coffee. And, you know, if you, you know, everyone's got their, you know, little whatevers, I can accept that. But if you don't like dinosaurs, I don't think we can, we can be friends. Truthfully. There's just, it's just a hard, hard line, man. <laughs> just watch. I'm gonna marry somebody who hates dinosaurs and be like, yeah, I don't see the point of that. I'll be like, well, we're getting a divorce then because dinosaurs are the coolest shiz ever. Literally the coolest shiz in it ever. Music is getting a bit epic. It's getting a bit epic. Not entirely certain why we're getting epic music, but it's happening. Also, why do I have a horde of freaking dolphins with me? Weird, you know, dolphins. Wait, can I scare Nessie? Nessie, come back. Boop. I've, I've just, words cannot describe my elation of the Elasmosaurus. Just, oh baby. I even forget what Nessie's technical, because I don't think Nessie's an Elasmosaur. There's other types, and the Elasmosaurus have more pointed mouths, and Nessie had a bit more rounded, and I forget what type she is. I already did this one. I did. Alright. 
Let's go, Muda Tape. I think. Or what's here? So why am I losing frames? Okay. Oh, we're... Are we... We're here. I think we're here? Guys, I think we're getting close to the end game. <laughs> this might be... Oh, I don't want this to be the last episode. Okay, let's, let's stop breaking my neck and turn. There we go. It sounds, um, this part of the soundtrack sounds similar to when you're in, you're watching a war movie and it's, you know, hope, all hope is lost and they make their last stance. Like, guys, this is it. We're gonna, we're gonna go out and we're gonna die trying, but we're going to, you know, do everything we can to win or, I don't know. Am I about to die? Is that what's about to happen? Where did my freaking, there he is. I'm like, where's the meditation rock? It was here, right? Hi, babes. With the elasmosaurs right there. Look at them go. Ooh, there we go. Weird cave paintings of the elasmosaurs. Okay. Back button to meditate. Gar. Oh, we didn't see the guards. Hey, what's up, guards? What are you guys? No, I don't want that. I want... I don't know what I'm going to. Where am I? I'm not another gar. I don't want a gar. Whoa! I'm not an elasmosaur. Just... I just can't get over the beauty of this game. Just can't get over how just epically awesome this game is. Whoosh. Okay, let's go. I think we need to... <coughs> Continue. I think this is the way we go. Right? I need my fishy friends. We're not. Bye, guys. Screw you. Didn't like you anyways. Okay. This is different. We haven't gone back to like the the Bifrost area in a bit. Cause I released the squid, so we haven't gone back to the Bifrost. So I wonder. Oh, okay, there's an arrow. Those are all Arapaimas. I feel like I could have done a really cool flip, but no. So, this is us with the shark. What are we doing with the shark, though? We're dumping water. There's. I don't. I don't understand. I don't. I don't understand if we did something bad or good or what. I don't get it. Oop. All right, here we go. Bye. Damn. Oh, and she knows. Ooh. That's what I wanted. I wanted this, like, view. Just it all. Just all of it. I don't even care if I'm missing stuff. This is too gorgeous. Oh, my lord. Also, these ruins are pretty busted. So I wonder if the... The triangles came to our world, you know, promised us something and then just destroyed everything. You know, we we gave them, oh my gosh, this is like an, a United States of America situation where, well not, I mean, yes, yeah, it kind of, whatever. I think we're the natives here, or like Atlantis, it's like Atlantis. 
Oh god, this is kicking up. Why is this kicking up? Why is this kicking up? It's picking up, man. Let's get the fishies. I'm not paying attention anymore. So much stuff is happening. Focus. Focus. Oops, I missed them. Oh my gosh, this reminds me of the sand area with Journey, where you're sand surfing. It's the best way. You were surfing, you're sand surfing. 1000% you were sand surfing. Except it's with water. I'm losing myself in all the fish. Oh, remember these guys? Remember these guys? I remember this, the weird school of fishies that make no sense whatsoever. I'm, I'm thinking, you know what, I'm thinking that's what it is. I want to say that these, the robots, triangle things, came to our world and promised us whatever, which obviously we have their, you know, whatever nonsense because of my suit and I can communicate with them and it responds to me. But I wonder if we then gave them kind of like the heart of the ocean and everything kind of went to shite and it might have killed my kind oh that's where I came in it looks like I think where do I go now do I go up wait what do I go up Maybe, because there's like. Oh, here we go. Follow the chains. The way you dip shit. Follow the chains, you nimrod. And I'll probably open the basement. Because apparently we have to go deeper. You know, 30,000 leagues under the goddamn sea. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. My fishy friends, come follow me, my fishy friends. My fishy fishy friends. Oh, there goes one, probably after some fishy something. Look how big their eyeballs are. They're like, I see all. Yeah, there we go. Again, once I get over the beauty and realize I have to do something. Oh, that looks like the Bifrost. We're, we're going down. I wonder if our little books are because we're connected with the sea. I bet that's what it is. So the the, the being able to communicate with the fish is probably because we've harnessed the sea in a way. But then those, like the heart of the sea also gets put into the triangle beasts and the flotsam and flounder and sebastian which then explains why the shark attacked those things oh we're back in the bifrost is this is different wait we got the orcas we got orcas we got manta rays we got the squiddies and we got the blue oh whale sharks this is new. This is the middle one. This is different. 
<clears throat> Is it healing us? Nope, it's not healing us. I thought it was. It's not healing us. <gasps> oh, we put the soul of the shark back. Hi, buddy. Hi, sharky. Hey, babe. I can't move, by the way. Oh, he's healing us. Look at us. We're all healed. Thank you, Mr. Shark. I guess down we go. Oh, that's the sun. That weird sun thing on the mirror. Oh, wow. This is... Oh, God. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa! I'm glowy! <gasps> Sharky! I am speedy freaking Gonzalezing this. Let's go, Sharky. <laughs> oh my goodness. Woo. Fuck you. Yes, yeah, screw you. Rah! Can't hold us forever. I am magical. I am the protector of the seas. You cannot. Oh, I uh, controlling me is really difficult. Urgh! I'm very fast. It's very hard to control me. Come on, Sharky. Let's eat it. a coral oh my god look at the manta rays the water's back <gasps> look at these ones hey babes what's up manta rays Anything down here that I need? So we have our shark. Our lovely, lovely shark. Look at our sharky friend. We have the spirit of the shark. Oh my goodness, look at all these colorful fishies. So that was the first area, so that was the manta rays. You let my people go! You let them go. You give me back. So we're releasing all- we're releasing the land, it looks like. I feel like I was the last one of my people to do this. I think there's supposed to still be like shells somewhere, but God only help me if I can. Cause dude, I am speedy as this. I do not bank well either. Yatta? Oh, it you knows. Know 
<laughs> Look at me in the sharky. Come here, Orcas. I wanna, I wanna play. Let's play. <laughs> Thank you. Onward and upward. Let's go save our other friends. Come on. Let's go save our other ones. Save our friends. Rah! Get him, Sharky. Let's go, babe. Let's kick their ass. Show him his boss. Oh, there's more sharks. There's a big hammer at those over there. My big whale sharks. Come here, babes. Riding it. I thought I was going after the whale shark. <gasps> also, doesn't he look as though he's coming back? <laughs> like he's getting healed and he's coming back. Oh my gosh, look at all the fish around me. This is so cool! Look at this beautiful hammerhead. Great hammerhead shark. Look how pretty it is. Thank you. that way, right? Where am I going now? This way. I think. Look at the whale shark! <laughs> Let's go, everybody. Let's go save everybody else. You let my fishies go. You let all of them go, you schmucks. You let them go. My bioluminescent bunch. My prehistoric pals. I can't think of another alliteration. Teamwork makes the dream work. <gasps> it's the giant squids. We gotta go up there next. Hi, squiddos. Oh, dude, this music. Epic. Doesn't the shark look as though it's becoming. It's coming back to life again? Right? I'm not losing my mind, right? It's, it's becoming more. Corporeal? Is it the technical term? It's becoming corporeal. Look at this guy. Look at him go. Okay, can we go up? Great way. Let's go up, buddy. We're going this way. Come on. Oops. Hit the wall. Now we're going. Here we go. And my massive horde of fishies. Oh my god, look at my tail of fishies! You 
shall not pass, you schmuckity schmuck. He does everything I do. Let's get him, Sharky. Whoa. <laughs> Burst them all. Bust them all up, man. This is what you get for zapping me, you motherfucking schmucks! This is what you get! We're on a mission, you son of a gun. Yeah, that's right. Boom! <sighs> Take that, you weird triangle overlords. Wait, where are we? coming back look at all the fish and the coral also I can control myself in the background I'm just not doing much with it it's kind of free floating night night big triangle overlords screw you Is that it? Did we save the ocean? Abzu! <gasps> Created by giant squid! Ooh, can I, like, swim? Hey buddy, come here. I get red sharky! Lead engineer, Brian Ballamut. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna hold on to the shark and let him ride me around creation. Oh, wait, there's a- wait, come here. No, there's a- there's a thing. Where's my body? Where's my body? Body, come back, please. Body, come back. There's a thing right there. How do I get to it? Please, body, please. Oh, it's really- it was hard enough to- wait, no, I'm going the wrong way. Come here. This way, body, this way. No, go down. Oh, uh, other way. Oh, uh, inversion. Okay. <laughs> it's like I can't find it. Oh my goodness. Okay, this has been an amazing game. I expected nothing less from the creators of Journey. I This has been spectacular, truly. A uh, gorgeous game. I think I grasped the story. I also remember with Journey that I don't know if the story is really, you know, you figure it out. That's kind of the fun part about, obviously Journey was called Journey. I don't know if Abzu means anything in a different language. I don't know if, if it's, it's gotta be European of some sort. And I want to say it's one of the like Norway area esque cause with the weird over the U, but. I just, I can't, I'm just swimming around. I love that you can do that. And my sharky friend's here. Yeah, I think pretty much the baseline of the story is that we were a, you know, an amazing, you know, nation, similar to many other cultures throughout the world. And, you know, we got invaded, sort of, or promised things that ended up not going so hot. I want to say we were maybe the last of our kind, and we just kind of had to say, screw it, I gotta save all of this stuff. And we saved the ocean. I think. And then obviously we have this very nice little spiritual, you know, spirit animal-esque bifrost thingy. First tablet of the Enuma Ellis. What? What the frick is the Enuma Ellis? No, this shiz. Please dive. I just, I'm still focusing on all of this. Oh, I'm so sad this is over. No. I want to play this more. 
I'll probably just play for funsies on my own and try to get the other achievements. Uh, mainly just collectible stuff. I don't think I'll do a video of that because you've literally seen the entire game. This is it. I cut out nothing of this game. It's the entire thing. Backwards, forwards. I'll probably still record it just in case something crazy happens, but otherwise... No, and I enjoyed that you couldn't actually die-die in the game. I know that can suck, especially that one area is like, oh, this is harsh. Uh, because with Journey, you could lose, you had a scarf that was kind of your life. And trust me, there was a section where your, your scarf got chomped on heavily. Come here, buddy. Boop, come here. So yeah. That's been fun. This has been Abzu. If you want to buy it, go for it. I highly suggest it. Same with Journey. I highly suggest Journey. Um, oh, it's telling me to press the start button. But yeah, I'm gonna. Can I hop on my great white? Great white again? No, come here. Come here. But I would. I mean, this is a short game. What? It took me like three hours? Four hours? Not even. It took me four hours to play this game. And it's freaking gorgeous and amazing and just just spectacular i mean the soundtrack the visuals i can go on and on about just how awesome this is and it is Ooh, and the fact that i can freaking play on the end screen is hilariously awesome and the fact that there was a shell here was great um yeah it's super um it's a really easy game to play i didn't really ever get lost at least i never felt lost i just felt like i was exploring and I can't think of anything else to say. I don't want to exit just yet because I'm afraid they'll kick me out of the game or something. Wow, that was a nice little reprieve from the scaries. Uh, I don't know what I'll be playing next. It'll be a surprise, as always. Uh, but yeah, so if you like this video, give it a big, big, big thumbs up because I love this video. So definitely give it a big, huge thumbs up if you've enjoyed. If you want, you can leave a comment down in the comment section below. And yeah, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. On I don't even know what game I'm gonna play next. It we might be going back to the ooks and spooks. I don't know. So I'll see you next time. Whatever I decide to play during the week next. Bye. Mwah.